What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're making a dinner time favorite. If you're a pasta lover, then chicken Alfredo, as you and me both know, is one of the best things you can get on this planet. But unfortunately for us, that is a dish so high in carbs and calories, it's not really good for losing a little weight and building muscle. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you the absolute healthiest way to make chicken Alfredo at home. We're gonna do it in the simplest manner possible, and I'm telling you, once you try a bite of this, you'll never order chicken Alfredo from a restaurant again. Dieting, losing weight, building muscle is all about following a diet that you actually enjoy. And with my cookbook and these recipes, you're gonna be eating foods you actually love while still making the results you want. So check the link in my description if you wanna get the best dang cookbook on this planet. And once you get it once, every time I drop a recipe like this, the cookbook gets updated for free. Hit that link in my description, you won't regret it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this going. We are gonna start this thing off by boiling our pasta. What I have here is traditional fettuccine noodles. Nothing special, nothing crazy. These don't have extra protein, nothing. Literally just fettuccine noodles that you can buy at the grocery store. My goal with this recipe was to make it as authentic as possible, but keep in mind, any noodle you wanna use, you can do that. If you wanna use some of the higher protein ones or chickpea pasta, go right ahead. But I'm telling you, you make it exactly how I show you, you're gonna be sending me a Christmas card. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out 56 grams of these noodles right here. That's a little heavy, we'll take some away. And that looks perfect to me. Keep in mind, this is a single serving recipe, so if you wanna double it up, triple it up, quadruple it up, just multiply out the ingredients and do exactly what I show you. Now right here, I got a large pot of water boiling. I'm just gonna salt it real quick. I'm gonna take my noodles, just give them a little break in half. Boom, and I'm gonna toss them in and let them boil for about 10 minutes. Now when it comes to getting the chicken ready, you can really make the chicken however you want. If you really wanna speed this recipe up, you can just use pre-cooked chicken, but we're gonna go ahead and make it real quick in the air fryer. So I have some thin cut chicken breast right here. I'm gonna go in like so and just make strips and weigh out a hundred and 12 grams. I'm only doing strips because everywhere I've ever ordered fettuccine Alfredo, that's how the chicken comes, but really it's personal preference. We just wanna make sure we're getting in the full 112 grams. Now the chicken's weighed out and cut up, I'm just gonna toss it down in my air fryer basket. And what I'm gonna do is cook this at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. If you time this upright, literally your pasta and your chicken will be done at the exact same time. And then from there, the recipe takes like five minutes after that. Super easy, guys. Just make sure you give everything even space in here. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna toss this in the air fryer, but once again, cook the chicken however you want. For me, this is just the most convenient option. I'll be right back. At this point in the recipe, our noodles and our chicken are both done. What we're gonna do is sit these off to the side and keep them close by while we make our Alfredo sauce. Now this next part of the recipe moves faster than my ex-girlfriend on a first date. So I'm gonna go over all the ingredients right now, that way while I'm mixing things up, I don't end up messing the recipe up because I had to stop and explain stuff. So the first ingredient I'm gonna call out is our low-fat buttermilk. We need 80 grams of this, and you should be able to find it in the dairy section of your grocery store. You can buy a small jug like this that'll last you for about three or four of these recipes. So only like a dollar, not too shabby. We were also gonna need about 10 grams of a basic all-purpose white flour, along with about a gram of parsley. We we're gonna need 14 grams of full-fat shredded Parmesan cheese. You want that authentic stuff. And last but not least, we're gonna need about seven grams of light butter. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, let's make the magic happen. I have an eight inch saucepan right here. I'm hit it with a little bit of nonstick. Then I'm gonna go ahead, put my butter down in here. I have this set to a low heat. I'm just gonna wait for my butter to melt. I'm gonna rotate it around the pan. That looks perfect. Then once the butter's melted, I'm gonna pour in the buttermilk and then I'm gonna pour in the flour. At this point, I wanna go in and stir everything together so that flour is combined with the butter, fully breaks down. I rose my heat up to about a medium. We're just gonna keep stirring everything together until it slowly starts to thicken. All right, if you look at this, it's simmering, which is just what we want. It's thickened up, it's getting where we need it to be. Now what I'm gonna do is add my cheese, I'm gonna add my parsley, and I'm gonna go in and stir everything together. That's gonna incorporate that cheese into everything else we have, and it's gonna create the perfect little sauce. I'm just going through and letting all these ingredients do their thing. You can already notice as that cheese is melting, we're getting this thick Alfredo sauce right here. Just look at that. Literally after just about two minutes, our sauce is where we want it. You can see the cheese is completely melted. Everything's broken down, incorporated. It's thickened up and it's literally ready for prime time. So what we're gonna do is grab our chicken and noodles, place them right down in here. And now the last step is to just stir everything together. Let all of our noodles get coated. Let all of our chicken get coated. Make sure all of that cheesy Alfredo flavor is covering every single bite. And then once we do that, it's mission accomplished. 
this point, I have everything fully coated and it's probably good to go. I'm gonna let it sit in here for about a minute or two on a low heat just to make sure those noodles and that chicken heat up appropriately. But once that happens, folks, it's time to serve. Check it out guys, wasn't that easy. We officially have a plate of chicken fettuccine Alfredo that we made in the comfort of our own home with about a quarter of the calories over what you would get at your local restaurant. Seriously, Google Olive Garden fettuccine Alfredo and see what pops up, it's a nightmare. And the best part about this is we made our own sauce from scratch, we get those creamy noodles, all of them are covered in that sauce. Literally guys, you try this one, I know you're gonna love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Help the channel out more than you even know. If you can do that when you watch these videos, it would mean a lot to me. I appreciate it. Comment anything down below for the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And guys, before this gets cold, I think we gotta give it a shot. Let's go. And here we go. It is time to eat, but first, if you're having trouble thinking of gifts to get your significant other, or maybe a gym bro or gym woman in your life, don't forget, Anna bars are in stock while supplies last at finalbosswomen.com. Could RGF10 will save you 10% on the best, and I mean the best tasting protein bar on this planet. You're buying for someone that traditionally doesn't like protein bars, but they enjoy dessert, candy bars, then they're gonna love this thing. Any of the flavors are dope. Any of them you get, you're gonna absolutely love. Even if you get a box and you have multiple stockings you need to stuff, just take a couple out, put them in the stocking. You get what I'm saying? Versatile gift right here. Don't sleep on it. Appreciate all the support, people. Thank you. All right, let's get down to business. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything right here. We got the noodles, we got the chicken, we got the sauce. I did put a little bit of powdered Parmesan on top. Literally the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. Guys, I literally cannot get over. As I started tweaking this and as this recipe started coming together, I literally couldn't believe the amount of flavor and the creaminess and the authenticness of actual chicken Alfredo I was able to achieve here. Like this is absolutely insane. This is really one of those, like you could make this, tell people that you were inviting over for dinner that you were just making chicken Alfredo, not telling them it was a healthier version, better for them version. And you'd serve them this, they'd have no idea. They'd think your chicken Alfredo was excellent. They'd kiss the cook, they'd commend the chef. Give you a little pat on the rear end, bud. Like I said earlier, if you are making a big batch for multiple people for a family dinner, just take everything I showed you and multiply it out accordingly. Do you want four times this amount, six times this amount? Just make sure your pans are big enough to support it and you're gonna be fine. Now M, this entire recipe, everything you see right here, what we got for the whole thing is only 474 calories, 10 grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbs, and six grams of fiber. I don't care who you are, you can pair that to any restaurant that's got a chicken Alfredo, literally we're talking triple, quadruple times the calories just by how they make it. But we're able to achieve that amazing flavor by just tweaking a couple things and making a few better choices. At the end of the day, if this is how you eat all the time, you replace all those bad meals with these good ones, something positive is gonna happen to you, I guarantee it. And to put something in perspective for you guys, right? I can literally eat this recipe four times in one day, have a protein bar on top of that, and boom, I would still be in a calorie deficit, I would still be getting enough protein, and I'd still be eating amazing, losing weight, doing everything that I wanna do. Just because a food has pasta in it doesn't mean it's not gonna work for weight loss. Just because you're eating chicken alfredo doesn't mean it's not gonna work. At the end of the day, it's all about energy balance, law of thermodynamics. Are you eating less calories than your body needs in a day? If you're doing that, you're gonna see results. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final amazing bite. Let's get it. Folks, as much as it pains me to say it, I really think this might be the best recipe I've ever created. Seriously, you've got to try this one. Tag me on Instagram or leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So I know once you have it, you're gonna be mind blown. And as always, if you got my cookbook available at the first link in the description box, it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there along with all my other recipes, the pizzas, the ice creams, chocolate chip waffles, everything under the sun is in there. Hit the link down below. You follow us in this book, it'll change your life for the better. I promise. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. Thumbs up button comments, subscriptions, all that stuff really helps. Uh, yeah, I'm full and I gotta go edit this video. So I appreciate y'all and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys, boom, 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 baby. Don't forget, you're allowed to scrape up any of that extra sauce and mm, I still can't believe it.